In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own procedural texture preset in Affinity Photo. So I'm going to go to Filters, I'm going to go to Colors, and then down at the bottom is the Procedural Texture. So if I click on that, um, I'm going to create a new category. So if I click on this little box right here, it will enable me to manage presets. And here I can see all of the presets that are already set up. And I'm going to create a new category, and I'm going to call that one uh, Textures. So I'm going to put, all, put some textures in here. I'm going to hit OK, and you can see that it added a texture down there, or a new category called Textures. And it has a thing on here, I'm assuming that's for a user. And so I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to create a new equation. And this equation, um, it turns out there's one called cell noise. And that is actually a preset with the Mac version, but not with the Windows version. So I'm going to create uh, a Windows version of this. It's the same function. And I'm going to just call it cell noise. Uh, it has two parameters. The Rx stands for relative x coordinate, and Ry is relative y coordinate. So those are coordinates in your image. And I'm going to create, uh, have that map to R, uh, R, red, green, and blue. So all three color channels. And so that's what it looks like now. It's um, the pattern is there, but it's very small. So I want to change that. I'm going to divide each of these by 100, and that should show what it looks like. So divide by 100 and 100, both X and the Y. And so there's the Voronoi pattern, a uh, very nice um, texture there. And so now I'm going to add some uh, variables. <clears throat> so since it has two parameters, I'm going to add two R variables. I'm going to call them, um, set them to 100. Okay, I set them both to 100, and then I'm going to change this to an A, and this to a B. Okay, so now when I uh, change these, if I make these larger, the pattern gets larger. All right, now it turns out this can have a third variable, C. I'm going to put that in right here. And if we look at that, if that's zero, it's just a square grid. But as I increase that, it changes the grid. And um, it changes the size of the spacing in between here. That goes up to about six, and then it stops doing anything. So that's six is as high as that will go. I'm going to leave that at one. I'm going to set both these to 100. Uh, so it'll start with those uh, values. Okay, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to click Create Preset, and I'm going to call this Voronoi. And for the category, I'm going to change that to my newly created Textures category. Hit OK. Now I should have that saved as a preset, so I'm going to hit Cancel. And now I should be able to go to Filters, Color, Procedural Texture, and under presets, textures, I have Voronoi, and then I can apply that, and it's created the Voronoi texture in my picture. Okay, um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks for watching.